Hello, brothers and sisters. This is Anne, and today is September 21st, 2021. When I woke up this morning, first of all, the Lord has a way of letting me know that he has given me something that he wants me to share. And he did that twice this morning. And when he does that, I know that I need to act on it. But I did not receive anything else this morning except him showing me some personal things and some things about the children. But I do remember on yesterday morning, September 20th, when I woke up, I clearly saw written on my wall and spoken into my spirit, it's time to go. It was very clear. It's time to go. Now, I was not sure what it meant. So I didn't make a post. I only mentioned it to a friend. And I did not share it on uh, YouTube or Facebook or anywhere. Well, I'm going to share that now because I believe that it's what he wanted me to share. The Lord says that it is time for us to go. It's time to go, is what he said. When you get this message, you think about what you have been praying for and what the Lord may be saying to you when he say, it is time to go. Now, I want to be truthful with you because I had been praying about the issue of the Revelation 12 woman and when would it be time for her to flee to the wilderness. That was my prayer. Now, I'm not saying that it's time for you to flee to the wilderness. I'm not saying that at all. But I do believe that it is time for you to be in your safe place. Now, this is not necessarily the wilderness, but it's a place where you have basically stored provisions, a place where you won't have to be subjected to the persecution that's getting ready to come down. And I call it your safe place. It probably is going to be an intermediate place that you will possibly leave there and go to the wilderness. Now, in a previous video, in fact, I think it was one that I made just before I made this one, I said that it was time for you to get to your safe places. And I believe that the Lord is confirming that video for me. And he wanted me to let you know that he agrees it is time to go. It is time for you to get to your safe place. Now I'm going to um, attach that video uh, to play after this little message. So brothers and sisters, I'm saying that God said that it's time to go now. So get to your safe places and I will say shalom until the next time. September 15th, 2021. I woke up this morning and the red heifer was on my mind. Then I heard in the spirit, sprinkle clean water on you. I knew in my spirit that the clean water was the water of the red heifer. You can find that in Numbers 19, verses 17 through 21. Now, God has already revealed to me that the red heifer of the Bible represents the Holy Spirit. And he also revealed to me that, <clears throat> that the Revelation 12 woman who is pregnant is the biblical representation of the Holy Spirit. She is the wife of Yahushua and the daughter of the Father in heaven. When we see her in Revelation 12, verses 6 and 14, this is the incarnation of the Revelation 12 woman. She is now on earth living in a human body. 
she is the one that will flee to the wilderness. In the temple sacrifice system of the Lord, there was a lamb sacrifice and a red heifer sacrifice. The male, there was a male and a female, the male was Christ the lamb. He was the sacrificial lamb that took away the sins of the world. The red heifer was the female. Her ashes mixed with the water, called the water of separation, cleansed the believers and allowed them to go before God in the temple. This is referred to in the Bible as the clean water. You see, God is going to sprinkle clean water on his people when he take them back to their rightfully owned homeland in Israel. This is going to happen during the second exodus. They will first go to the wilderness. God will cleanse them, purge out the rebels, and then take them into their homeland. You can find that in Ezekiel 36, uh, verse 25. I had a vision of the red heifer, and it was on Mount Zion just a few days ago. And it made me think of the Exodus, because brothers and sisters, as I've been saying, it is near. You need to get prepared. You see right now, the people of God, we are being squeezed. JB, and you know who I'm talking about, is saying that we must all have this vax by October 31st. And if we don't, we're going to be totally marginalized. We're going to have all our freedoms taken away. It's getting close. You need to get to your safe place as soon as you can, or you're going to suffer just by being out in the world trying to function. Be faithful and do not take this poison. If you must walk away from everything and everyone, then do it and depend solely on Yahushua for whatever he has decided for you. If you have already taken it, repent. Repent now and he will cleanse your blood. But he's not going to do this if you continue Take these things and stay in this system. You need to do this right now. You need to repent if you've taken it and let God do the clean, cleansing and then be obedient to him. We need to do that before it's too late. So that is all that I have for right now. Shalom until next time.